Three years ago, he was a free agent from Marshall University trying to make the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, he's the team's number two center. I've worked really hard to get where I am right now. Um, you know, put in a lot, of lo- a lot of the long hours, you know, not only at Marshall, but uh, now that I've been in a pro system and uh, hopefully it's paying off and I think this year is uh, going to be my breakout year. Since Doug has been with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he has learned from the veterans what it takes to make it in the NFL. Watching how they work, how the greats of the game, uh, you know, approach the game the, th- the way they do. Uh, Troy Palomalo, uh, the Max Starts, the Justin Hardwick, the guy that's been in the league for years, 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 and uh, they're successful for a reason. It's because they know how to practice, they know how to prepare, and they know how to play, and they know um, what kind of attitude to bring on the field, and uh, I've learned a lot from them. Along at his side through this journey in the NFL is his wife, Megan Ligurski. As a family, they are happy where they are at now. I know when I sit back and think about it like a reality check, it's crazy, and, and there's a lot of uh, people looking up to him, and they want him to represent the city good, and I love it. I love the position he's in, but we don't take anything for granted, and we realize how blessed we are, and he does great. I'm so proud of him. When Megan gets the chance to attend her husband's practice once in a while, it's not always an enjoyable experience. I have to look away. I do, and especially when they do one-on-ones, I get so nervous I have to look away. <laughs> I just, I don't know. He does great. I know I have all trust in him, but it makes me nervous. Just because the Ligurskis are in Pittsburgh now doesn't mean they don't have the time to follow the herd. You know, I've talked to the coach a few times. You know, he's a great guy, a great recruiter, going to bring a lot of people to Marshall. Um, You know, for a coach, uh, I've talked to a lot of the young guys. You know, I'm uh, three years removed. Most of the guys I played with are long gone. But uh, some some of the old guys now were young guys when I was there. I talked to them, and, you know, they're really enthusiastic about this season coming up. And hopefully, uh, you know, they'll bring the winning tradition back to Marshall. For We Are Marshall today, I'm Adam Cavalier.